Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> my my cat Cheetah, she actually uh towards the end of the first video, she actually tried to climb on the counter and get to those scallops. <laughs> I caught her though. <laughs> she knows better. Anyway, if um I got my tripod uh helping me out a little bit here so you guys can see a little better. Um okay. So, I have my papaya that I peeled. You only need for this sauce, you only need just a little bit. So that's like half. I dice these up, which I'm about to do. Um, you just need half a red pepper, okay, because the other half is going to go into that crab salad. Same thing with the bell pepper. The other half is going to go into that crab salad as well. So you don't need much for the sauce. And, of course, here's my pomegranate. I love this. So juicy. So beautiful. And, I, of course, I keep the seeds up in there. Um, that's where all the flavor's at. And then I had that tomato, basil, uh, garlic cheese to die for. And I did have a piece, as you see. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, you're probably wondering what I'm going to do with this. Well, I'm about to show you very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to move you over here. So that way you can see the board. All right. So basically what I do is I chop all this up into nice pieces. Um, and I put them in my blender cup. So what I do is I throw everything in here and I blend it up in my Bella uh, blender and I throw it into uh, my pan. So the first thing we're doing, we're actually making the sauce very quickly, just so that way it's out the way before I do the steak and everything else. All right, so we're going to go ahead and start chopping this up, just little dices, just so it can blend good in that Bella blender. Because as you know, my blender is small. <laughs> but I love it. I do my, my shakes. I do everything in that. Me and that blender come a long way. So like I said, just dices. Same thing with the with everything else. Just want to make it comfortable for, to put in the cup. And then we're also going to add uh, a little bit of spring water in there. Just to keep everything moving nicely. Okay, so make sure you can see. Beautiful. Okay, so you just do little dices. that over same thing with this now this um, actually you just split it in half I'm sorry just like four pieces see them juices pop I love that all right just that goes on the side all right and then we're gonna get to this um, however I'm just making sure where I put my other knife at here it goes sorry about that <laughs> this is my sharper knife <laughs> So let's scoop that over. So I hope everybody had a great weekend. Um, me and my kids, we had lots of fun. These kids on this block are actually still trick-or-treating as of even today. Um, so um, my kids had a wonderful, wonderful time trick-or-treating. Uh, there's a place that we go to up in Exeter in the Pennsylvania area where I'm from. It's in Reading. That's where I'm from. And um, we actually go to this place, and they give out, like, Bibles, candy, um, hot dogs, hot cocoa, and everything's free. It's so super nice to see um, that they have that. Um, we used to live up there a long time ago, and we were up there for about five years. My daughter went to a great school up there. And so we always go every, every uh, Halloween, we always make it up there. So nice. And then they have, like, games for the kids to play, um, you know, all kinds of stuff. Uh, uh, crafting, arts and craft. Um, so my kids know every Halloween, that's the spot we go. And we've gotten so many Bibles from being there that we actually gave some out to, to some of the kids here um, in the neighborhood. Because um, I think that's important. All right, so we're going to get to the cheese. So if you could see, that's pretty good. I can bring you up just a little bit. Whoop. And there you have it. Beautiful. That's what it wants, you want it to look like to get it in that blender. Now, like I said, it depends what you have at home. This is what I have. It's pretty small, so um, I can only work with what I have, right? <laughs> and I make it happen. 
Okay, the cheese. You want to put in a good chunk. Because this cheese uh, brings so much good flavor to the uh, sauce for the steak. So, um, about half of this. And like I said, it all depends depends on your family size, how much, how much uh, steak you're making. So, um, if you have any questions, please feel free to hit me up. 1950kisstocook at gmail.com. Alright, so again, dices. I really cut these in dices because, um, you know, cheese can be a little sticky. <laughs> and how about that extra hour we have now? Thank God. Get an extra hour of sleep. <laughs> yeah, I woke up this morning and I'm like, oh my God, I totally forgot to put the clocks, to set the clocks right. So, yeah, I was in a little daze this morning. Like, okay, I got this. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is add some spring water. So... I'm going to take you over here to my kitchen over here this way. <laughs> and I love my water fountain here because it gives me all the great temperatures that I need for uh, when I cook. All right. So you want to add some water, of course. I always add water when I use this. Keeps everything in place. Okay. So I'd like to put the cheese in the bottom. That's how I do it with my blender. Okay, and then you want to go ahead and add some of that. Make sure you get those pomegranate pieces in there. Get all those good flavors in there. Okay. And trust me, try this at home. The sauce is to die for with steak. I mean, I just can't even tell you how much I love to make this sauce. It's so good. All right, so what we're going to go ahead and do, as you see, it's already filled up a little bit. This is what it should look like. And I still have just papaya left on, on the board here, the chop board. So um, I'm going to get this down to a little bit so I have some room to put some more of that papaya in here. So I'm going to take you over here. All right, this is my Bella blender. Those of you that are just tuning into my channel or are new subscribers, um, this is the one that I use. So I go ahead, I just put my hefty uh, screw on with the blades, <laughs> get it going, okay. And I'm just going to pull this up a little so you can see a little better. There you go. Okay. And there we go. Voila. The die for. And this is what it should look like. It should look just like a strawberry uh, milkshake, kind of, sort of. Because the pomegranate is very, as you know, it stains the color. So it, that's what it's going to look like when you get it done. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some more of the papaya. Because we're not done yet, right? <laughs> okay. Some more of that papaya. Okay, and that cheese. Oh my god, I could smell the basil. The cheese just it's so flavorful with that cheese in there. It's so good. Okay, back to my blender here. Okay. Okay, so this, this thing is pretty much full. Uh, I probably put too many pieces, but it's okay. I, I still want to add those rest of those pieces because after I do the sauce, I do uh, savor some of it for when I do make my next steak. All right, so, uh, okay, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and fire up over here, okay? And this is uh, one of my other pans that I like, I work with. That's come a long way in my kitchen. <laughs> All right. So the first thing you want to do is just, of course, keep it at a medium, medium high, kind of, sort of. And then we're going to go ahead and add some more ingredients to my sauce, okay? So, again, it should look like uh, baby food. That's what it should look like. 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just add that in there. Okay. Now, when I do the steak, okay, my steak is still sitting here. The only thing that I add on my steak is just a Goya adobo. That is it. Um, I stick it in the oven to like a 420 degree. And um, this is going to be the icing on the steak. So you do not need to put a lot of ingredients on your steak. A little bit of sprinkles of adobo. Um, you know, back and forth. Both sides. And just stick it in the oven. And this is going to be the icing of the on top of the steak, the sauce. So trust me, you don't have to go any more than a couple sprinkles of that adobo, okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna just stick these in here for now. Uh, we're going to add that Goya minced garlic. I do two tablespoons of that, all right? Super delicious. I love the way garlic smells. Okay, so just two spoons. Okay. I'll just mix it all up. Mm-mm-mm. I I can show you what this looks like right now. All right. So that's it for that. Okay. However, we will be using just a one um, teaspoon or a tablespoon, sorry, of this in the rice, which you're going to see me do because I'm prepping everything up in front of you guys today. All right, so we're going to get to over here with my green beautiful onion. All right, and I'm going to use my scissors. And you just want to add like a cup of this, just a cup. And you can cut it in dices. Don't have to be perfect. Yep, and there you have it. That's about a cup. I have a good measuring in my head. <laughs> okay. So, after you do that, you want to add some cilantro, of course. And this is just regular cilantro. Just the regular stuff. Alright. And so we're just going to go ahead and add a cup as well because remember not all the sauce is going to go on them two, two steaks I'm actually saving some of this as well alright and what I do is I freeze it I preserve everything in my kitchen if you watch my channels you'll see I use every little piece to the end of whatever I use and I do a lot of freezing I freeze a lot of my stuff put it in the freezer my hefty big freezer down here. And trust me, when you freeze stuff, it's it lasts a long time. It you know, it's good to go when you open it up and start chefing up again. All right? Okay, so we're done with this. Okay, last but least, the Angel Sweet uh, Sunset Tomatoes, organic. Love these, super juicy. And you just want to get a handful of these. Just a handful. And you just kind of just sit them in there. Because guess what? As this is marinating and cooking, um, those tomatoes are going to go down to a beautiful, beautiful, nice roasted, like a toasted roast into the sauce. Okay, so I just wanted to show you. Let's see if you can see it this way. Or maybe I'll just bring you up. How about that? Okay. And that's what it looks like. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. All right, so next coming up, and this is pretty much, this is all it is for the sauce. Um, we have to add in, of course, this wine, a little bit of uh, two teaspoons of that Hellman's mayo. And instead of the A1 sauce, as I told you before, I'm just using the yum yum because it's super delicious and I like the flavors. They're really cool. All right, very flavorful. So... Up next is going to be my, uh, I'm going to have to put a little on that in a minute, it's going to be my rice, okay? So um, the steak pretty much, like I said, very, very easy. Uh, I'll just do that real quick here. 
Because remember, we're throwing scallops in that rice, right? <laughs> Just, you know, back and forth, a little bit of a double. And that's all you need because, like I said, my sauce does the butt kicking on this steak. That's where all the flavor is going to be. All right. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead and put these in the oven uh, real quickly. And um, I also got some delicious bread. My daughter picked out this bread. Uh, it's a French bread, I believe. Yeah. So that's pretty much it. A little bit of granola. A little bit of granola, then up in the oven it goes. Super yummy. So you just plain it out. Just get that wet with that granola on, uh, oil so that way it uh, bakes nicely, right? <laughs> okay. All right, and that's pretty much it. And it goes up in the oven for a good uh, 25 minutes. And then I kind of flip them and do another 25 so um, it's going to be a little bit before all the plating, but trust me, it's going to be so worth it. <laughs> okay. I know my daughter's like, Mommy, are you done yet? I haven't even started, baby. <laughs> yeah, she's my big eater at home, so. All right, guys. So like I said, um, I guess I can just do this quickly in front of you guys. And you want to do two teaspoons of the mayo. All right. And I'll repeat the ingredients like I always do towards the end, okay? So this way we're all on the same page. Now, I'm going to do two sprinkles of this because, um, like I said, I'm not doing the A1 sauce. And this does not have, like, a strong um, uh, flavor. It's actually very gentle. It's, it's really good. The flavors are just really good. Okay, and then you want to add just a sprinkle of the wine. Just a sprinkle. Sprinkles, two teaspoons. <laughs> okay, as you know. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as this is going to cook, because I did turn it off a second. I didn't want it to start bubbling up before I get the lid on there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this, and then please don't miss it for my rice. So I'll be back in a minute. 